Hardy folks, we're back. We got uh, what we needed here. We got a new cylinder. Uh, got two, but I probably only used the one. Uh, I'm going to change that one out. The passenger side, which I thought was froze up. And then see if I can get it to work. And if I need to change that other one, I will. But I just got, you know, two just in case. But I think that one on the driver's side is fine. Um, basically, what I got here, I've got the tools I need. Oh, set of wrenches, big chachi, and this is a uh, inch and one sixteenth socket that'll go right on that bolt right there. When I uh, unhook the lines here, and then there is a pin up there that you can see that I got to tap that cotter pin out and then tap that pin out, and I should be able to hopefully move that around to where I can get it out move that around where I can get that out and um, you know, be able to finagle it back. My only thing is, is I can pull that out a little bit. So hopefully I can stick this pin up in there and then just pull this down where I need to and throw it on the bolt. Might not be able to, I may have to hook the lines up to that and crank it to jack it up to get the pressure for the length I need. I guess we'll get there when uh, we cross that bridge, we'll figure that out. So I'm going to get these lines unhooked real quick and then start going from there because that's the first thing I need to do is get those lines off and then unbolt that. Um, and then hopefully I can, you know, wiggle that thing around and be able to get it off and everything will be okay. And that cotter pin is going to be a pain in the butt because of where it's at. There's really not a whole lot of room to work. And hopefully I don't have to take this, whatever that thing is right there, that old rusty, crusty air conditioning, whatever thing off. To be able to get to that uh, maybe i'll sneak my hand up in there to get that that pin and stuff out hopefully i can but i guess we'll see when we get there so wish me luck So I took the liberty to put tape on those. I'm sure you can't see that, but um, I taped up which line goes to which little fitting on there. And I may need to run up town and get some new fittings if I can't get the one off. I guess that's we'll figure that out once we get there. The only thing that stinks about this is it does have that bracket on there for that pin. So hopefully everything goes okay. And, uh, and there's a chopper and that thing is freaking loud. was super loud but uh yeah like i was saying this bracket up here that for that stop hopefully that's not a problem when i have to get that off and put that back on um i may have to remove that hopefully not but like i said i guess we'll see but yeah there's the tape and stuff that way remember those fittings when i got to put those lines back on so something to always think about when you're doing stuff like that that way you can remember no you've been a good friend that's in the thick and thin And I know it's never gonna end Cause you've been a good friend
everything's unhooked got that pin out finally that was a pain in the butt had to knock it through as you could see and uh we're stuck across here it's here because we can't get this thing to come out because it's stuck right there but uh, it'll move up and down right to there and it's catching and i got the ratchet straps on the back right here we're gonna make a cut right here and we're gonna make a cut right here and just be able hopefully pop this thing off because uh that's what we need to do because we can't we're stuck we can't do anything since all those lines are off and whatnot it's not like we can try and jack it up and get that other side to work and i just don't want to sit there and ratchet it up anymore because i'd have to do it the whole way and i just don't have stuff straps that are long enough or anything like that so i'm gonna get the cutoff tool out and do what i gotta do because well that's what we gotta do Well, that worked. It's off. Oh, yeah. Now, you're probably asking yourself, and I am too, how are we going to get that other one on? Well, something we'll have to figure out. Because uh, that's only out like that much. So, that's going to be an uh, issue to getting this one on, I would say. Yeah. That is, uh, that's only out just a little bit. So, I guess the old thinking cap needs to go on now. Because I don't think I can get this thing up without that other one on. Because those lines aren't hooked up. And I don't know. I, I'm not even trying to just do the one side and have it go up. Because it would be all cr crooked and twisted and stuff. So, give me a minute to uh, take a break here and... Uh, get another one of those we'll be back well folks this may be one of the sketchiest things i've ever done i had to get this cab up to a certain height to be able to get this uh cylinder on so look what i got going on here my straps they wouldn't pick that thing up because they were just basically pulling it so i've got some boards under here i had to get it up to a certain height then use uh, extreme measures log just to catch it that board will catch it and i've got this down here because this is the only thing i've got to get this up it's this three ton jack a uh, cylinder block chunk of wood in this little bar here i needed this bar because it would pivot up here now if i didn't have that pivot that thing would just kick out on me so i had to go to extreme measures and go buy that thing that way i could use it because i needed that pivot but i did get this on so i had to pound on it here at the back end to get it because i got it to where it'd go in the front here because i couldn't get it up you know it wasn't high enough to go on and then swing down like it should so i basically had to stick it down in here pound it in to where you know this had to be up so far to where i could get the clearance for this thing to go in so i've got this in right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hook all these lines up and I'm going to jack this to where it'll go up to that spot to where I can stick that um, I can stick that uh, pin in in that lock bar and get that all in there. And then once I get that done, I will end up probably, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook all the lines up. I'm going to unhook the, the one line that goes back here to this and I'm going to bleed those lines out. And I'm going to have to fill, you know, do all that stuff and fill this thing up because 
I've unhooked all those lines. I had stuff spooging out that one side and I never added anymore. So I'm gonna have to do that. But uh, yeah, hopefully I can get that done safely. That is the key word here, safely. But I uh, did turn the tire here and I'm sure you've noticed that because uh, it needed turn so I could get in there and have some more room and I'm losing sunlight. So I'm gonna have to do this quick, so. First of all, what went through my mind is how stupid am I to actually volunteer for this. Unbelievably painful. All right, well, let's see if we can get some fluid up in there. I done filled this up. See if we can bleed this line here. That is a completely empty line. So once I know there's fluid going through there, they should be full. And I'll um, probably put some more in and see what happens. Well, I don't think that is uh, moving up front. Actually, that bar is moving up front, so I'll be able to, before I bleed the line completely, go hook that up. Let me see what it looks like here. like I need about another inch and uh, it stinks because it's starting to get somewhat dark so I'm gonna have to get a light out but this is working So at least I'll be able to do that, which is good. Looks like it's getting close. I'll get you and get your eyes on that in a second here. I've got a sweet GoPro light, which I've talked about before. Big Junior got me, may need to get a headlamp on or something. I got that for now. So, now we've got fluid in there that is pumping like it needed to, and it lifted right up there. So now all I gotta do is I gotta get it to where it's a little bit farther up in there, and then I can get that, uh, that bracket and that pin in there, and uh, we'll be good to go with that and then we can continue to jack until we get that line bled so I'll uh, I'll be back once I get that here in a second I probably only need a couple more pumps just let you hang out with me real quick and pump it up that should be good right there let's go check I hate to um you know this kind of stuff is super sketchy if you haven't, go back and watch James Pretty's video where he was working on, I believe, Dee Dee, the Freightliner with the Detroit in it. And uh, his cab come down on him super fast when he was standing there jacking it up. So um, I'd say we're close. I think I probably need about two or three more pumps. So that's something you always want to be super careful of. That's why I had that bar right there or that board. You know, I was extremely, extremely careful putting that stuff up because I don't want that coming down on me, man. When I uh, was telling my wife about the stuff yesterday and how it was stuck, she said, hey, did you do anything that I should be worried about? I said, yeah, I was messing around. And I, uh, perfect. I uh, had my... Let's stick you back here real quick. I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see, but at least you're gonna be with me. 
Oh, let's put this light right here. Where, where are you going to stick at? That's not... I need you somewhere where you, I can see. That'll work, I guess. It's going to have to work, right? It's going to have to work. We're going to have to make it work. And uh, that's what we're going to have to do. But I told her, I said to her, I uh, did one thing that was sketchy when the cab was stuck here, mounted up. Um, you know, I leaned over here and I was trying to look down there to run that line. And she said, what the hell? And I'm like, well, you, you know, if that thing would have came down, you'd probably end up coming out and finding me like that. And she was not too happy about that. I can tell you that much right now. She was freaking out. She's pissed that I uh, did that, but I didn't necessarily have too much of a freaking choice because I had to. Oh, how did I do that before? I don't remember. Okay, now I do. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. Get over there. I'll finagle this thing. Alrighty. I might have to get the bam bam. Nope, I think I got it. I think I got it. So now this pin in the back here. So I can get it in. I think so. This is a pain, pain in the arse. No pun intended. Let me see if I can stick something in there to straighten that out some. Not really. Get off. Come on. Well, let me get this back up here. Struggle is real. You know, light's gone. Get in there. Now I got that thing just holding that up. So I can, uh... okay, it looks like that rod might need to come back just a skosh. So that pin looks like it's at an okay spot. So I'm going to have to let some air out real quick, or some of that out, just to try to bring her down some. And I don't know if that did anything or not. I did release it. Mm, not really. Not really. Get something in there and shove it in there. Get something in there and shove it in there. It's not gonna work. Well, if I can get this thing back, give me a hammer. I'm gonna try to tap this bitch back some. Just a little bit. No. Looks like it's good. Just needed to go up a little bit. Because I don't think that pin will go completely through there. Okay. Um we could be in business here. We could be in business. This is just a fucking pain. Now, if you've ever had to do this, you know the struggle is real because you're down on your knees and where's that hole at? Here it is. Get this stupid fucking light out of here. I can shove it in from this side. No, right through there. Almost. Okay, what are you catching on? 
All right. All right. So now it's in that side. So hopefully I can just shove it back in the way that it needs to be. And I don't have no problems. Because we don't want no problems. All right. Thank God. That's in. This on here. And we got a new cotter pin, which is in my pocket. And uh went to buy this stuff. Grabbed this cotter pin. Of course, it wasn't in no packaging or anything. Let me see. Where's that old one at? Compare them. Where did you go? Oh, it's a little bit thicker. This one should be all right, though. And uh, there's no package. There's just an empty. Okay, just dropped it. Just an empty, um, like a kiosk for them, basically, with a bunch of different sizes. Okay, I just freaking dropped it. Son of a bitch. There it is. So I took a picture of it the barcode so uh the gal could just scan my phone well for some reason it wouldn't scan and uh had to get in there had to um manually put it in i told her i said just scan that stuff but uh for some reason it wouldn't but that's in I just got to find a screwdriver and spread it apart or something because uh, I don't really have anything right here. And this is, oh man, this is just horrible without being able to see anything. But you got those clamps down there. Needle nose. Let's see if I can get some spread. Get some spread on that thing, man. I end up loosening up this crap up here because I had to. I couldn't get to it. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. You know, I can't even get to the freaking thing because it's stuck back in a stupid ass thing here. Okay. I'm gonna do the big end. I'm twist him. All right. Well, started to. And does not want to go. Yeah, no fucking room here. None, folks. Got it. Are you kidding me? Use my freaking hands. Piss on that. Tool. Just not doing it. Oh, that'll work. I don't think it's going anywhere. Get over here. Yeah, it's just not spreading like it needs to. I mean, it's spread, but I want to spread more. There we go. Now that should do it. So, get this out of there. Now we can go back to uh, what we were doing before, bleeding that line. Because we are officially hooked up. And I'm going to bang that big chachi real quick one time. Just to uh, get a little bit more juice. That's probably good enough. Yep, that's good. That is good. Well, that is how you... Boom. Boom. Install a cab jack at home. DIY. Do it yourself. Um... Yeah, we can just stand down here. We don't even have to get up. Let's see if we can get some action going on here. Raise, we're still at raise.
No, nope, there we go. We got fluid. We got fluid. We got fluid. We are going to hook that line up and uh we're gonna see if we crank her up. And we're gonna stand back and jack it down real slow. We're gonna play with it for a while. Because uh, that's what we need to do. Play with it for a little bit. And make sure everything's cool. And I'll probably leave these straps on. But I can get some of this other crap out of the way. Like these this other stuff. Because I don't need all that shit up there. And once I get this thing to where it's jacking up, I'll take the straps off and then we'll stand back and lower her down slowly. Because we may need more juice. I don't know. We will see. We will see. There it goes. going up on our own there you go there you go let's go and uh let's go and check out our um all our lines and stuff see if we got any leaks looks like we got a leak down here looks like we got a little bit of a piss right here which uh that thing's always been somewhat of a problem but um Let's see, we gotta get that stupid light so we can see. Put our tissue right here and check out over here. Looks like we're good, no leaks right here, no major ones at least. None that I see. That thing's working. Let's go over to the other side real quick and uh, we'll check it out. Which I'm sure there's a slight leak that comes out of here, but uh, nothing to where it is popping off or anything so i guess we can um and that's where that blew out that line yesterday which i finagled and ran it and not too pretty but at least it's hooked up up there and everything like that so yeah we got her we got no leaks and we're up so now i can um get all that crap all the way and continue on jack it all the way up and uh let me get this stuff out of the way and I'll bring it back and we'll take it all the way up and we'll bring it down and see what happens. Already took the straps off. I'm uh, confident in my work here. So I'm going to jack it up the rest of the way. I'm going to. And it's about, it's not bad. It's exactly where it was before. And I'm going to put that brace on. And then I'm gonna let it down. We'll make sure that goes on. A you know, little bit more, a little bit more. Got most of my shit picked up here. Well, not really. I just threw it over the side. But yeah, that's cool. The pump don't sound bad. You know, a little bit more. Now, I don't know if this one was a little bit bigger than the other one or not oh come on are you catching on something no, almost there it may be so i may need to swap that other one out Ugh, got it Okay, there, right there, it's on that. It's tight on that. Now I need to tighten that one thing up, that air conditioner thing up. So let's take it back up. Whoops. Push it lower. I'll take her back up. And then we'll bring her all the way down. Because that's what we want to do. We want to see how it does. And uh, that's probably going to be it then, because all I got to do is pick the crap up. I got a mess. Let's see if I 
get. And here's to uh, looking good in 2022. No wind out. Pretty nice. It's probably 42 degrees. I guess for having to deal with this crap, which I had other things to do on the truck. Not going to complain too much about the weather. Bada bling. Bada bloom. We are good. Well, we got a little bit of piss down here. A little bit of garbage on the old tank, but uh, not much. You're not pissing out like uh, it used to, so maybe I get lucky and just tighten it up just as so. Looks like we got some big truck coming down here. Mine's gonna deliver a genie boom. You know, just drove by. I didn't want to make that turn. That thing in the gear, man. Um, in the summertime, Geraldine was getting some tile put in his field, and uh, the guy just unloaded the shit right there. Whatever that um thing's called, that you uh dig the tile up with in the field. Oh yeah, just like old times, baby, going right up. Just parked over there, threw out some cones, and drove all the way down. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Changing out the cab cylinder, cab lift cylinder, and a cab over truck. When it won't go up it's what you got to do sometimes you just got to do what you got to do you know that's what you got to do cheers to you yeah a big old mess here told you the tools earlier that i use nope i had all this crap out too braces different stuff and uh you know to get big chotch out and use them but yeah i guess it sets down okay i thought that other one was a little bit longer than this one because this one's out a little bit and that's where it froze up at see and i thought that other one was a little bit longer which we'll go in here and i'll show you real quick the, oh the music there ain't no music so we're cool for now it's just somebody talking but um yeah i guess they're about the same yeah they're the same so it's all good I'll leave that passenger one on. I won't mess with it until uh, it, it goes bad, but I, at least I have an extra one. That way, if that one does need change or something happens to the blue chalk, both take the same thing. So, oh, it's gonna conclude today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed to see me do some work. Really simple, just uh, twisting on some things, twisting them off with uh, some wrenches and stuff. Besides the, you know, uh, whole debacle of getting the cab up high enough to get it off it was just big chachi one bolt and uh the cotter pin in that that pin that went through there simple take to the shop how much you're going to charge you hourly somebody's going to be under there bitching tearing your stuff up not happy with you i can tell you that much right now but uh do it myself in the driveway thank you jesus for the weather i uh, can't go wrong with that so we'll uh We'll be back another time with something else when we get working on old Frankenstein truck. But uh, we're good. We're back in business. Let the dispatch know tomorrow. We're solid. Got her done. Didn't give up. Didn't even call in no backup. Did text some people. Text James Pretty and talk to him about it. Uh, you know, he just told me that you needed to have the cab up to a certain height when you're doing it to get that other one on. Because I told him I got the other one off and I cut it off. You know, you know. Talk to trucker style Sean a little bit today too. He's working on his uh, cab over the cooling system and whatnot. So good times, good times. Like, share, subscribe, comment, 
and uh, ring that bell so you can get notifications when I post something new because I'm always posting something new. And, uh, you know, till the next time, you know what we say, we will see ya. So I thought he was turning back down here and he's going back straight. Maybe he's just checking out the trucks. If I uh, was in there, I'd grab on the CB and say, you lost driver, but I doubt he's lost. So who knows?